Photoshop is powerful. It can do a lot. And for your small business, there are a bunch of different ways that you can put it to use. Just what is Photoshop capable of and how can you get the most out of it for your business? Well, that's what it's all about here today. How are things going, my friend? This is Jeff from 10tononline.com where I help business owners untangle the web so they can build and grow their projects themselves. Are you ready? Let's jump right into things here. Number one, this is the first way that you can make use of Photoshop here. Use Photoshop to get your photography looking its best. Of course, at its core, Photoshop is a photo editing application. So using it to clean up your images, resize your photos and apply some basic color correction seems like a logical first step in Photoshop. And it's worth noting here how important great looking photos and graphics are to your small businesses marketing efforts. Start noticing all the fantastic imagery and photography being used in the marketing that you see around you on a day-to-day -day basis. It's all about amazing imagery and photography. How can you begin using photography and great looking imagery and graphics in your business and in your marketing? This is critical to understand because great looking graphics are a big part of attracting customers to your business. Okay, number two, use Photoshop for web image optimization. What the heck do I mean by image optimization? Well, in order to get images looking their best on your business website, you not only have to make sure you're using the right graphic file format for the kind of image that you have, but you also have to reduce the file size of your image as much as you can without degrading the quality of the image too badly. I hope that makes sense. So it's a balancing act. And this balancing act is called image optimization. I have a few posts that relate to this topic, so I'll link up to them for you down below in the show notes if you're interested. Meanwhile, on to reason number three. Number three, you can use Photoshop to create your web graphics. Another way to put Photoshop to work in your small business is to use it to create web elements. So not things like photography, but more like graphical elements. I'm talking about things like badges and icons and banners and maybe little ads and buttons and things like this and any other graphical web element that you could possibly need on your business website. You can either create these sorts of materials and graphical elements from scratch yourself, that's perfectly fine, or you can use Photoshop to edit existing web icon templates and graphics and visual elements. And of course, once you've created your web graphics for your site, you can use Photoshop to optimize your images to ensure your graphic components look great on your site. We just talked about this image optimization issue. All right, number four, use Photoshop to handle your social media graphics in a similar way to using Photoshop to handle and create graphical elements for your website you can also use Photoshop for all of your social media graphics. So this includes your social media avatar images, your banner or header graphics that you might need and so on. And this also includes images that you might want to include in the posts that you make on the different social media platforms that you may be active on. Whatever graphics you might need for your social media channels, Photoshop can very, very easily handle it all for you. All right, we are down to number five here. You can use Photoshop for your business print materials. So in other words, offline content, offline materials. While Photoshop wasn't intentionally built to handle tasks like creating and laying out business cards and brochures and things like this, or designing flyers and other promotional materials, it's certainly capable of handling this sort of work in a limited way. 
What Photoshop lacks is the ability to create multi-page layouts. So that 93-page full-color catalog you'd like to create for your store is a little bit out of Photoshop's league. A program like InDesign is much better suited to a task like that. But a single or even a double-sided layout is certainly doable and within Photoshop's capabilities. So make sure to leverage Photoshop in the right way for your business print layout needs. Now I'm sure the big question on your mind is, where do you go from here? What are the next steps? Well, head over to 10tononline.com forward slash Photoshop, where I have the next steps all mapped out for you. I will see you there.